Hello, my name is Terry Regal, and I'm the owner of PunchedIn.com. And I'm going to take this time to give a quick tutorial on how to be up and running using our web-based time clock solution. All right. So you'll want to go to PunchedIn.com, and you can uh, use this site to learn about our web-based time clock. And you can click the sign up link and sign up for a trial. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how that process works and review your pricing information. You can set yourself up with an account ID and um, I'm going to create an account ID called clear image and I'll give myself a password. Okay, so once you put once you put your information in there, you can click next, and that's basically all there is to the sign up process. Uh, if you'll note, there was no billing information asked for, and uh, no billing information is ever required. As a matter of fact, uh, we don't ever store or retain any billing information on you um, because it's a web-based service. Uh, you'll just uh, pay when it's due, and um, once that transaction is done, all of that uh, information is discarded. Okay, so we'll click finish, and that should take us to the program. All right. <clears throat> You'll notice once we have a... Uh, um, once we're set up here, we will have a uh, your 30-day trial has 30 days remaining to pay to con this this message right here will disappear once you once you go ahead and pay for it. But you can use the system right now. Um, there's some information about the time clock here that tells you uh, that there's two sides to the time clock: the administrative side and the user side. Uh, and at this point, since there are no users in the system, the only thing we can do is log on as administrator. So I'm going to log on as administrator. Um, but before I do, I'm going to actually close this window and uh, show you how to get to the system um, without uh, having the window open. Uh, by the way, when you do the sign-up process, it should send you a confirmation email of the process. But you can always go to punchedin.com slash your company ID. So if your company ID is uh, Joe's T-shirts, then you would type punchedin.com slash Joe's T-shirts. And if you notice, I use the clear image for my company ID, so I'm going to go directly that way. Okay, and so it takes me here, and now I'm going to log in as administrator, and so that's basically the sign-up process. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to log in as administrator, and you basically just type your password here and say go, and now we're in as administrator. And there's a, a, a quite a few things you can do at this point. The first, what I'm going to do is this is just going to be a quick start. And so the first thing I'm going to do is set up some employees. And so we'll click on employees here. And uh, the only thing, so the first thing we'll do is we will add a new employee. And uh, we'll give uh, this employee an ID. Um, and this employee's ID will be 4363. Uh, it can be any. Uh, you can use letters and numbers in the ID. Uh, don't use any special characters or spaces or things like that. 
and I'll set myself up as a as an employee. Actually, I'll set my uh, I won't set myself up since I'm going to be the administrator. Okay, so I'm going to set up an employee called Ben Smith, and we'll give him a password of Ben two three. And notice the passwords are in clear text. The reason they are in clear text is because we set our login style to be password only. And to use a password only login, you all of the passwords must be unique. And so uh, you have to be able to see what they are. And so we'll submit this to add the employee. And at this point, we can pick an image for this employee. That one there, and that gives them an image, and we can click exit. And so now we've added an employee. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, set up our pay periods, and we're going to use the uh, auto pay periods. And our pay periods will begin uh, every week, starting on Sunday. And so once you set up your pay periods, just look through the uh, list that's here and make sure that matches your pay periods. And uh, at this point, we're done. We've set up our employees, we've set up our pay periods. Now we can go get our employee and instruct them how to punch in. And so uh, what you would instruct your employees to do, let's uh, go to a different website, just to, you'd instruct them to go to punchedin.com slash clear image and then from there they can punch in. And in our case, Ben would come in and he would type his password, Ben123, and he would see the time and he would be able to click punch in and you have to wait till you see that green in or a green out otherwise the punch has not occurred unless you see the green in and the green out your punch has not occurred